Hey guys, so today I'll show you the right way to do 3D or even 2D movement inside of Unity. If you've seen any movement tutorials before, you've probably seen something like this. Now, if you don't understand what is going on, um, it's essentially teleporting the player a certain amount every frame. Now, this has a problem uh, I'll show you right now. As you can see, I'm pressing the ASW key, keys and it works but the problem appears when i'm trying to collide with something as you can see i'm clipping through that object and the movement isn't as smooth as we want as you can see when i actually go ahead and deleted the rigid body of the obstacle i can see that more i'm clipping through and it's not smooth i'm not just stopping um i'm clipping through it and just going back and forth it's not that nice so what you need is go ahead and add a rigid body on the player and instead of teleporting the player I'm going to use a function of the rigid body rigid body dot velocity so let's go ahead and delete that and I'm going to start by explaining what is everything rather right over here now I'm creating a float um, a variable speed and then over here is a bit weird I'm creating another float xmove. Now I'm getting that uh, equal to input.getAxis raw. Row means that there is a smoothing applies. We don't really want that. Now what this does, this xmove variable will go over over one, or in, in this case one if you press the right arrow or the D key, and minus one if you press the A key or the left arrow and zero, of course, if you don't press any of those. The same thing occurs with a Z move. Um, the input that get access raw will, re will return a value of one if you press W or the W key or the up arrow key, and minus one if you press the S or the down, R the down arrow key. As the one before, it will be zero when we don't press anything. So what do we want to do over here? First of all, we'll create a rigid body, let's call it RB, and let's just go into the start method. And on, on here, I'm going to set the rigid body equal to get components of a rigid body. What we'll do is that it will set an RB, this variable which is a rigid body, equal to the rigid body that is attached on the player or on the um, object of our choice, actually. So down here, instead of writing transform the position plus equals to something, so I'll just add up what this is, I'm going to go ahead and write rb dot velocity, and that will equal to a new vector 3. Now, this uh, will actually set the velocity of our player. Now, the difference between transform the position, just adding the position, just changing the position every frame, is that this is actually moving the player from the rigid body, which means it's not teleporting the player every frame, it's moving it. And because rigid body is actually much better at calculating, calculating our physics of and collisions, we're going to use this so that we have a more smooth, more smooth movement. So over here, I will rise x move on the x axis zero um sorry rb dot velocity dot y that will actually get the velocity on the y axis up and down since we don't want to just stop the player midair if it's falling i'm going to use that so it will actually set the velocity on the y axis from what it was actually before and then on the last one of course z move now if you don't understand that it's okay, I'll explain it one more time. Essentially, I'm actually going to um, set the velocity on the X, whatever this is. So if I'm pressing the left arrow, the right arrow, it will set the velocity on the X to one, so we'll go right. And the same thing occurs when I uh, uh, press the left arrow, we'll go left. And the same thing over here, we go, if I press the up arrow, it will go forward, if I press the down our we go back. Now I'm going to multiply this by speed. Now speed is a one-dimensional variable, which means it has only one value. Vector three is a 
three values, yeah. So essentially speed will increase or decrease or multiply essentially the whole, all the numbers over here by the same value, by speed. So I'm just moving faster or slower, depending on what is, what this is. I set it up for five, it works for me well, so yeah. You can set it up for you, for your game, whatever you want. And, and when I move, oh, something wrong, as in it's... Okay, so sad problem here, my speed was pretty small, I cramped cramp that up a bit, like 100 or something. And you can see I'm moving a bit more, yeah, probably needed. <laughs> Okay, um, there we go. So I'm pressing the arrow keys and I'm not clipping through the player. I'm not, sorry, through the obstacle. I'm not clipping through it. And the movement is, is much smoother as you can see. And if I go ahead, oops, if I go ahead and add a rigid body on the uh, obstacle so it moves when I, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, you can see it's much better. It actually tweaks the as you're liking, you know, tweak the speed, everything. So right now we'll go ahead and show you how to do this as well in 2D. So um, I go ahead and add a component on the player. Let's move, call it underscore movement, movement. There we go. Open that up and free script. As again, I will start by make, having a speed variable. Oops. To do that, uh, oh god, okay, let's go again. What <laughs> there we go. So, uh, public play speed, uh, there we go. Public, uh, click speed, uh, set it to 100. I don't know, I haven't tried that. Ah, uh, set it to think. In 2D is a bit faster, I um, haven't tried that, but yeah. For the update method, as again, I will make a load x move. Um, since that's 2D, we don't have two movements. A platformer, if I, I'm doing it, um, what's called? A top down shooter, I will do uh, it's x move and y move. Out of here, an input dot gets axis raw. Um, get the horizontal axis. It's case sensitive, so write it exactly as uh, it should be. So I write it as well. Horizontal. There we go. And then again, I forgot to make the variables actually. So we need a rigid body 2D in this case. Um, RB. Let's call it RB. Let's go to the start method. Start. 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 Method. You can actually do this in wake. Yeah, that's better. Awake. There we go. Uh, awake method. Um, RB equals to get components rigid body to D. So now let's go down here. RB dot velocity equals to a new uh, vector two in this case because our game is two D. Um, on the X you want X move and RB again RB dot Velocity dot y, so I get the velocity in the y axis. I'll throw a normalized here. Uh, you don't really need that. Normalized essentially means that the vector, because the vector you can think about as a file, normalized will actually get the vector to be one length, one unit long, panda. So it's, yeah, it's much better if you want to work with speeds and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll throw that in. Um, then times speed. So over here we want to add a rigid body. I've added um box collider to the player before, so to the grounds and to the obstacle actually. And let's add both of them a uh, box collider 2D. So if we hit play, um you can see right my speed is very low. Adjust your speed. Um as you can see. I'm not clipping through as I should have done. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, post them down below. I try to answer all of them. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.